I think she's the best mom in the world because no other parent would do this for their child. For nearly three months, six hours a day, Colette Cousins' mother has sat in the family van outside her high school. She just wanted a normal experience and a, a part of that is using the elevator. A part of that is, is going to the bathroom. Colette has a neuromuscular disease and uses a wheelchair. When we first met her mom last month. But I can't leave because I, I mean, I have to be there within five to 10 minutes. She shared her battle to improve accessibility in her daughter's school, especially in the bathroom. But cousin says no one reached out. Nobody from the board ever said, hey, we saw the story. Can we come talk to you? How did we get here? Global News reached out to the education minister and a spokesperson called this unacceptable, adding our government has funded the hiring of nearly 7,000 education workers and increased funding for special education to the highest levels ever recorded. The government of Ontario has in hand a comprehensive report on how to fix this system. We said, what are you going to do to implement it? This disability advocate says the ministry and the school boards get a failing grade for accommodating students with disabilities and points to this roadmap he helped to craft. We need an internal appeal system required in every school board that can intervene uh, and fix these problems. We need the Ministry of Education to be prepared to intervene. Cousins persisted and finally this update. I was on a call with the school and a superintendent of special education. I updated them on my pursuit, if you will, of the appropriate commode and, and transfer board for Colette. And so I've managed to identify that and I've been working with Colette to get her ready. Colette says her mother is on a mission, not just for her. To make sure that disabled kids get the education and the freedom that they need to be more independent in the future, because school is all about learning independence. So here is the timeline for change. Michelle Cousins says she will be spending the next three weeks in her van until the appropriate bathroom equipment arrives and staff can be trained to use it with Colette. And next on her list is the elevator. She says the way it is now, Colette depends on others to help her access it. And again, that goal is independence, Alan, as you heard Colette say. Thank you so much, Karen.